excited about moving on. Um, you know, Brian gave us a great start. Our offense was really good early. We, we, we got out to an early 7 nothing lead, and Brian kept, continued to throw strikes. Um, we kept tap, you know, tacking on runs there, which I thought was really important. Georgia Tech's got the type of offense that, you know, you get you know, a walk or a single, and next thing you know, there's a three-run homer. So we needed to keep distances, you know, distancing ourselves, and I thought we did a really nice job there. And um, like I said, we got a lot of guys some work out of the pen. So excited about moving forward, and um, obviously waiting to see who we play. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really know that I was going to get MVP because I know Crawford threw a no hitter. And, I mean, but um, when my name was called, it was awesome. I was, uh, I was really happy. You were the Crawford. Oh, definitely. I've been coming into this. You said we haven't played our best. I think we're in position to do so. Was today just kind of a glimpse of, you know, when defense is working, you get your, your tens and work. And I think the whole weekend was. You know, we start the weekend off where Crawford throws a no hitter. We play a game last night against, in my opinion, one of the better pitchers we've seen all year in Farmer. And um, you know, we do a nice job there. And then today we, you know, we swing the bats. And um, I, I think this team has, to be honest with you, probably tired of hearing about how people have not thought they played up their potential. You know, we're the number one national seed, and. Um, we're using that as motivation moving forward, to be honest with you. Did you kind of feel last week when, at, at, in Hoover that, that y'all were starting to really put it together again? As you were hitting the ball well, the defense was really coming together and things like that. I think the Auburn weekend was probably the turnaround for us. Like I say a turnaround. It's just, I think if you look at everybody across the country, you know, offensively, there's been struggles. And I think the bats have something to do with it the pitching. We played the number one schedule in the country. I think people sometimes forget that. We've, we've played some very, very good opponents throughout the year. We have not had any, you know, off games, so to speak. So, and we've gotten some good efforts from people. You know, people have played really well against us. But I think this weekend was a really good weekend for us in all phases of the game, pitching, defense, and offense. And I think, you know, today was a really, really good day for a lot of guys. Mike, you're home on a 1-10 to 10 scale. Oh, it was up there. Um, I, I, again, I was just looking for a good pitch to hit and uh, try to put a good swing on it. And uh, it was one of the better balls I've hit uh, this year. Like it was obviously a, a big weekend for you. How, how did you keep your focus this weekend with the draft coming up and with, you know, more being a big day? Uh, I mean, honestly, it was an afterthought this whole weekend. I mean, uh, we came out with one goal, and that's to uh, try to make it to the College World Series. And I got, I mean, 34 of the teammates that are that are trying to do the same goal. And I'm just trying to play for one cause. And uh, it was really an afterthought. I mean, uh, we just came in and tried to play good baseball. And, and once the game starts and, and once you prepare for it, you really don't think about it. What are your plans for tomorrow? Are you going to finish I'm just going to spend the, uh, the day with my family and uh, just try to enjoy it as much as I can. For at least a day now, can it be in the front of your mind now? Oh, I mean, yeah. But, I mean, it, it's one of those where we're excited. We're already waiting to see who we play. And uh, just, just ready to start game planning again. I mean, uh, I have the most fun when I'm playing, so I just can't wait to get going with that again. Kevin. Or 